We are moving into a new age of mobility, and change is coming rapidly. For example, TCO for electric vehicles is often less than it is for traditional vehicles. In terms of what's happening right now in the automotive field, I think it's very, becoming very, very clear that we're moving to a new age of mobility. Uh, if we want to call it CASE, Connected Autonomous Shared Electric, if we want to call it the, the three zeros, zero emissions, zero accidents, zero ownership, or um, if we call it mobility as a service, whatever we want to call it, this is where we're headed to, and we're headed there much, much more quickly than most people, frankly, uh, are aware of. So let's take this piece by piece. If we talk about electrification, um, we're coming to the point now where the total cost of ownership for electric vehicles is falling below the total cost of ownership for uh, traditional vehicles. Now that doesn't apply to every state, it doesn't apply to every city, it doesn't apply to every vehicle, uh, but it applies in a, in, in a number of cases and, and certainly I'm aware of uh, a number of fleet managers who've made that calculation uh, and it's come out quite favorably for electrification. And, and the reasons for that are not just because of the, 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 the price of the vehicle, but things like uh, downtime. Electric ve vehicles have much less downtime. Um, things like um, uh, maintenance cost over time, but even intangible things like driver happiness, um, where uh, the quiet electric vehicle makes the driver happier. And frankly, I've even had reports of fleet managers telling me uh, that the electric vehicles get in fewer <laughs> accidents because the drivers are just happier driving them. Now, hard to fathom, hard to pinpoint, probably very hard to quantify um, at first uh, until you get a critical mass in your fleet. Um, but it's there and it's worth exploring.